Hi guys, welcome to the series of AWS Cloud Formation. So this is the second uh, tutorial as a part of this AWS Cloud Formation series. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can launch Internet Gateway and how we can associate that Internet Gateway to the VPC. In our previous video, we have created the VPC. So in current video, we are going to use the same VPC that we have launched in our previous uh, video so by any chance if you have not launched that specific vpc make sure you watch the previous video i will share the link and then go ahead with this specific a uh, template that we are going to create because that specific vpc would be as part of our parameter of this cloud formation template so let's go to the visual studio code and start coding it so now i will create a new YAML template which would be Internet Gateway and associate it with VPC. <coughs> Sorry. I will just so the problem with that was I missed to mention YAML extension. Shared.yaml. <coughs> okay, guys, so I will write over here start. It will give us the template. So, in this, we are going to use parameters, resources, and outputs. So, we don't require other code, other blocks. So, I will remove the block. Okay. So let's define in the description what we are going to do as a part of this template. So add, as a part of this template, we are going to create Internet Gateway. And we are going to attach that I internet gateway to the VPC that we have already created. What what I mean by the VPC that we have already created, let me show you. So in our previous video, if I go in cloud formation and if I go in stacks, so you can see our only VPC uh, template is currently up and running the stack is up and running. So you have to make sure that the stack is up and running. Then only you have to <coughs> run this another stack that we are going to create. So now let's go to the Visual Studio Code. So in video's Visual Studio Code. So guys, as you know, right now we have VPC which is already created. So let's reuse that VPC uh, by using it as a part of parameter. So what I will do, so I will just first double space then i will just write vpc so see over here so it will ask you parameter type vpc id i will just click on it so as you can see under parameter it gave me the description and the default okay so this is the pattern of defining a parameter so over here i will just keep the name as same custom vpc that we created last time let this be as it is and over here so in over here i will just go back to my console i will click on this i will just go to resources let me copy this and i will just paste that over here <clears throat> so this is the vpc id that we are going to use <coughs> Now, again, a double space. And over here, we are going to create Internet Gateway. So this is the Internet Gateway. See, as soon as I <coughs> wrote Internet Gateway, it gave me, it created two resources. One is the Internet Gateway resource and another is the Attached Gateway resource. See, both of the resources are different. This is AWS EC2 Internet Gateway and this is AWS VPC Attach attach attachment so now what i'm going to do is so first i will just copy this 
as I said, you always have to make sure to see over here go to the AWS documentation and over here we have to first check if the required parameter so if you can see over here the properties which are defined over here these properties are not compulsory so you you you, you would see there is only one property that is tags apart from that there is no property so we don't have to define any specific property over here so let me go ahead and let me define the tag okay internet gateway now i will copy this resource i will go to the documentation again close this let's open this documentation so under this documentation we will see Okay, so these are the properties Internet Gateway ID, VPC ID, VPC Gateway ID. So, see over here there is one required property which is VPC ID. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that VPC ID is defined over here. So, over here I will just refer the parameter that I have created. This is the intensive function that I explained you in my, in my last video. A reference <coughs> space. And I will just copy this parameter name over here. Okay. And the internet gateway ID. So for internet gateway ID, what I'm going to do is first let me change this resource name. Let's keep this resource name as custom internet gateway. Let me copy this and over here under internet gateway i have mentioned this so guys now you can see for attach gateway what attach gateway does so it says over here attaches an internet gateway or a virtual private gateway to a vpc so what we are doing over here is first we are creating the internet gateway once this internet gateway successfully created the second resource what it is going to do is it is going to attach that specific internet gateway to the vpc by doing this we are uh, enabling the internet access inside our VPC that we have created that is our custom VPC now as all this is sorted now I will just go ahead again double space over here I will just uh, define my outputs so output so this is the logical ID so as part of logical ID I will just mention output and the internet gateway and the value would be reference okay. paste it. so right now I don't have to export the value this will come in the advanced section don't worry this is just a beginner guide after this we are also going to conduct a advanced uh, course for the advanced functions that we are going to use <clears throat> so this output is done I will use another output so this is the another output again uh, over here I will mention output attach gateway so guys this we are just doing for our best practices purpose it, it, we are not going to use it in any way just for our just so that we can uh, see what exactly we have created <coughs> okay so our code is done so as you can see the indentation is correct the code is created parameter is created okay now so when you are using the parameter how you are going to create the stack this is the difference that we are going to see in this specific video I will just save it now I will go to my CLI <clears throat> and in my CLI I am going to type the command AWS cloud formation validate template and the template name 
website. Not a template name, template body where we are going to mention the file that we are going to refer to. So our file name would be it would be IGW underscore associate dot yaml. <coughs> Done. I will just run it. So an error occurred. Parameters custom description. Okay. So description cannot be null. So over here, I have not mentioned a description and you can see I got error over here. So I will just go ahead and mention the description. <coughs> Provide VPC ID. I will save the file. The file is saved. <coughs> I will go over here. Once again, I will run. Okay, so guys, now you can see <coughs> the template is running and it is giving the output. So over here, I can see the template spelling is wrong. I will save it again. Now, let's go ahead and create the stack. So this would be, this time the command would be different for creating the stack because we are going to use a parameter. Okay. So let me show you. Formation create stack and now we have to give the stack name. So stack name would be sorry stack name would be launch. launch and attach internet gateway okay and the template body parameter would be the same template as and body files associate now guys we have to use the parameter so I will show you how you can use this parameter so if you go in create stack so over here when you have to use a parameter you will have to use this so you have to mention dash dash parameters the parameter key and the parameter value over here this is the example so if you have to mention multiple parameters so what you can do is you can just mention like this this is the this is one set of parameter space another set of parameter there is one example also given over here so this is the example so now let's go ahead and use it <coughs> so over here what i will do i will just copy this And I will paste it over here. So, guys, there are two ways. So, if you go in my template, so in my template, if you see, I have defined a default value over here. Okay. So, if I just remove this default value for now, okay, and save the template, let's validate it once again. the template is working now what I'm going to show is when you don't mention the default value and then you 
try to run the create stack command what happens launch igw going to give you error so when calling the create shot operation parameters must have values so right now there are there is no values given over here that is the reason it is not running now if I just uncomment this I save the file again after it is always a best practice to validate the file so it's validated successfully now I will just go and again run so guys if you see without specifying the parameter itself it is going to create the stack <coughs> See, oh sorry, that is the wrong command. See, it created the stack. The reason for this, it created the stack because there is a default value. But now, if I go ahead and uh, let the stack get created, I will just delete it and I will show you how you can mention that specific parameters in your CLI command and you can create your stack. So let's wait for a minute. So guys, as you can see, it is successfully created. So let's once have a look at the events. You can see this is the event. Now if I go to the events and if I go to resources, you can see the attached gateway ID and the custom API and the ID. And in output section, you can see the same. And this is our template that we have created. Now, let me just go ahead and delete this. Okay, guys, it is successfully deleted. Now I will take you back over here. Let me clear this. I will take you back to the official documentation. Once again. So this was our official documentation for create stack. So over here, now we have to use parameters. So let's go ahead. So this was the create stack thing. Before that, I will just go ahead and remove the default control s now let's define our parameter over here <coughs> space mm, let me copy this Paste. okay so the parameters are defined now what is parameter key i will show you go to the code so this is our parameter key. I copied this and I pasted it over here. And this is my parameter value. What is the parameter value? It has to be the VPC ID. I will just copy it from here itself. But you can copy it from the cloud formation console also. Paste it. Now I will hit on enter and you can see it will create. So guys, now you can see how you can successfully create your stack by using AWS CLI. And when you're having a parameter, you have to make sure that you mention your parameters over here. So guys, right now I have just mentioned one parameter, but going forward in our next exercises, there would be time where we, we have to define multiple parameters. So when you have to define multiple parameters, in that scenario, in that scenario, you're just going to use the parameter key and value once again after giving a space over here. <coughs> so uh, let's once again cross verify if our stack is successfully created. I'll just refresh it. So stack is created. As a part of this stack, we have created our attached gateway and custom gateway. So now let me just go ahead and uh, show you whether our VPC, internet gateway, all these resources are created. So if I go to VPC, So see, so this is our custom VPC which is been created. This is a custom VPC. And if you see over here, this is our custom VPC and this is the tag that we used it. Custom VPC. Now, 
uh, as we use our customer VPC, if I go to internet gateways, you can see our internet gateway. This has been created by us. This is, and it is also associated to our custom VPC. See, as it is associated, it is showing that it is associated to custom VPC. Okay. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining the session, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.